Hello, third graders. So what we're doing today is we are going to practice annotating, um, but we're going to practice annotating poems versus stories. So I have a poem here for you, and we've talked about how annotating means. Um, so we've talked about how annotating means um, taking notes. So we're going to practice um, through readworks.org taking notes. Now I'm using um, my son Avery's account so that you can see what it looks like from the student version. And the teacher version, I can't even take notes with it. So I'm really glad that I have Avery's account to be able to do this with. So um, the poem that we're reading is called Fireflies in the Garden by Robert Frost. Um, first, um, your first step is just to read the poem straight through. That way you can hear the natural rhythm that the poem gives you. We have talked about line breaks, so make sure you're pausing um, at the end of each line, you know, at each line break. So this is called Fireflies in the Garden by Robert Frost. Here come fireflies in the garden. Here come real stars to fill the upper skies, and here on earth come emulating flies. And though they never equal stars in size, and they were never really stars at heart, achieve at times a very star-like start. Only, of course, they can't sustain the part. Now, the one thing that readworks.org is able to do is you are able to highlight things and make comments next to each of the lines. So basically, when you're annotating today, third graders, you're going to be um, kind of writing little messages to yourself about, you know, a thought that you had in your head so that you can kind of refer back to that thought um, when you look back over it. So fireflies in the garden. Um, when I'm thinking about even fireflies in the garden, I'm kind of imagining um, fireflies lighting up um, in the garden. So here come real stars to fill the upper skies. I'm not sure what they mean by real stars. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to click and then I'm going to bring this over and hold it. And then I'm going to, these are your colors for your highlighting. And then you can also make a comment to yourself. So I'm going to kind of use, I think, green. Here come real stars. And I'm going to write down what do they mean? What does the poet mean by real stars? Okay, so now I'm going to kind of click out of that. Um, here come real stars to fill the upper skies. Um, what does it mean by upper skies? So you might find that you're going to be asking a ton of questions as you're reading, and that's okay because great readers are always asking questions about what they're reading. So um, upper skies, I'm going to say, um, and you can change your colors. You don't have to stick with the same color the whole time. I'm going to say, what does upper sky? What are? What did the poet mean? by upper skies. Okay. Um, and here on earth come emulating flies. I know to emulate means to like copy. I think that's what it means. Um, I might change colors for when I'm wondering about a word. So I think emulating mean might mean copying. So um, it makes me wonder, are the fireflies, um, is the poet saying that fireflies are kind of copying what stars do, which is like twinkle. Ooh, okay, maybe I should say that, right? So um, I'm gonna add another comment. Will it let me add another comment or no, not really. Okay, so when I, let me see if I can highlight emulating flies and then, oops, okay, maybe it won't let me. Um, and here on earth come emulating flies that though they never equal stars in size, so though they never are as big as, so I'm gonna, and that's another thing you can do learners is you could um, kind of restate it in your own words. So I'm not gonna ask a question about this. I'm actually gonna say what I think that part means and I think I might use a different color for that. So when it says though they never equal stars in size, um, they're, oops, hello. They're basically saying that, um, uh, that the fireflies will never be as big as stars, as big as stars. Okay, that though they never equal stars in size and they were never really stars at heart. So that means, and again, this is, I'm going to make this the same color. I'm going to make this purple because I'm basically going to, again, explain what I think that part means. Um, uh, fireflies were never really stars. Um, they were just kind of copying them. They were just, I 
think I might use their word. They were just emulating. And I'll put in parentheses, copying them. Um, and they were never really stars at heart. Achieve at times a very star-like start. So which I'm going to, again, I'm inferring, right? Inferring. Um, I'm going to infer that when they say achieve a at times a very star-like start, I'm going to infer that means that um, the fireflies look like stars. Um, let me see if I can move this down just a tad so you can see that. The fireflies look like stars. Um, I'll move it down a little bit more because I want to make sure, learners, that you're able to see the comments. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, only, of course, they can't sustain the part. So they can't sustain the part. Um, I'm going to, what does that mean? They can't sustain the part. I think I might highlight that. And that's when I'm going to go back to my green color and write a question about that because I'm really not sure what that means. What does that mean? They can't sustain the part. What does that mean that they can't sustain the part? And I'm going to infer that they means um, that the fireflies. Does that mean that maybe they can't like act like them because people just know that they're not actually stars? Is that what that means? So this is what annotating looks like, learners. You're gonna annotate your poem. Mommy, mommy, um, mama, mama. Sorry. Mommy. Um, okay, so that's what annotating looks like. Annotating means that you're taking your poem and you're you're taking notes of it about what your thoughts are, what questions you have, those kind of things. Um, so that's what we're what you're going to be doing today, learners. You're going to annotate your poem, and then if you notice, there are questions that you're going to answer based on the poem. And hopefully, learners, um, those annotations that you made will help you with answering your questions because really that's what annotating does. Annotating helps you make more sense of your um, of what you're reading. So um, yeah, I miss you, learners. I miss you, third graders. And um, keep working hard.